Jackson Lamb, KMA Challenge coming up here, Jackson. Uh, first of all, five questions for you that come, sometimes get to be about ten. Uh, all-time leading scorer at Nottoway Valley, so and that's recent happening. So I guess all of the great players that came through here, and obviously uh, TJ, a guy you played with, is the record you broke. Uh, what, what, what's it mean to you? Uh, it, mean, it means a lot. Uh, just all the good. It's kind of honored to be uh, have your name like with all the great players that came through Nottoway Valley, and it's kind of cool just to kind of be with TJ because he was a great player and still is at Swick. Yeah. And it's just kind of cool to say that you're with him. Have you had any uh, conversations with him about breaking the record? He say anything to you? Are you saying anything to him? Uh, me and TJ are really close. We, we uh, get shots up whenever we can. And, yeah, it's kind of just he kind of just said congrats and you deserve it. And it's, it's just kind of we're just really good buds. Um, I guess tell me about uh, basketball in your life. I assume it's been a big part of your life uh, from a long, long time ago. Just tell me when it, when it started. Uh, it probably started when I was super young. I, I played up with the grade in front of me when I was real young, and then I just kept getting shots up, and I, we've always had a back hoop in our backyard, and we played with our neighbors, and we really got like we had like five neighbors that really played, and we, we got out like every summer we'd play, and it kind of just kind of built off that, and my love for the game kind of grew from there. Nottoway Valley has always had a successful basketball program. Was there, you mean, did you go to games and kind of, did you, do you remember going to games when you were young and kind of like uh, starry-eyed for some uh, individuals? Yeah, we actually, it's actually kind of a funny story. Whenever we were in the backyard, it's like when Kenny Lance and James Larson were there and Tyler Ash, and we had like, we kind of had like a two-on-two -two team and you'd like pick out the high school player that you liked the most and you'd like act like him and you'd kind of be like him and that, that's just kind of. Well, who are you? Tyler Ash. Oh, okay. I like I was say, if you were Larson, you would have to get that big fro going, but yeah. no, no, you weren't him. Uh, tell me, injury, you had an injury in football season, so, and there was word like maybe you weren't going to be back to like January or something. So what, uh, what was the uh, rehab situation for? And I assume in your mind there was never any chance you're going to miss a basketball game? Yeah, that was, the, that was the biggest concern. When I first got it, it was like the end of, end of August was like the 27th, I think I got hurt, and the first thing I did is because I knew there was something wrong with it, and I went on the online and it was checked. And it was like three months, and I was like, okay, three months, I'll be good. Then the first doctor's appointment I go to, and it's like way longer. It was like January, and I was like, okay, that kind of scared me. And then I kind of just really took care of it, did everything I was supposed to, and kind of did a little bit more, and got back when I wanted to be. Well, this team has uh, been having a lot of success too. Uh, a lot of you know some guys around. Maybe last year you maybe didn't have as much production around you as you do this year. So can you talk about the team a little bit and maybe you know when things are going good, what's what's happening with this team? Um, this team reminds me a lot like last team. I think uh, one of our players we kind of check stats and they're kind of like the same, just new players filling in how we always do at Norway Valley. But it's just kind of fun to play with them, how we grow and how we get better. Pride of Iowa Conference is uh, locked in a tight one right now. I think it's a four-way tie or three-way tie, and then there's two more with a game back in the loss column. What's it like every single night going out there? You, you're playing a really important game. Yeah, it's actually it's kind of crazy. Usually kind of you go through like maybe a two-game stretch, and then you'll have like kind of those easier games. But now it's like every single game, and we would have had a game Tuesday against Lennox that would kind of set it apart. But now we got two games in a row, and then we've kind of been on a five-game stretch that's been pretty tough. So it's kind of it's kind of cool to be always competitive like that. I won't ask you about Lennox because that game, when this airs, is going to be already be done. So we won't even talk about that. But uh, that's the five questions. I'm going to ask you a little more about uh, personally here, real quick. Um, you're senior, so what's the uh, what's the plan next year? Uh, I re I really want to further my basketball career. I really love the game and. I don't actually know where I want to go yet, but I know I want to go somewhere and I want to keep working and see if I can get the biggest looks and the best looks I can get and love to where I go. What's the, uh, I mean, do you have any colleges in mind right now? Uh, Briarcliff's really looking at me, uh, BV, uh, Grandview, Central, just kind of colleges like that. I, I just want to kind of just, yeah. I know those are great choices. When does this uh, whole, when does the decision making process begin for you? When the basketball season ends, and what, what, what does? Uh, well, I guess I'll just ask you. When does it uh, begin for you, decision making process, and when do you expect to have a decision? Um, I'm not actually sure. It's kind of when I decide what what's going to be best for me, and I kind of like focusing on the season because it's such a tight race, and I like staying focused. And I try not to worry about all the college stuff yet, but it'll be coming close probably. Football, basketball, golf, any, you play anything else other than that? Baseball. Because you play baseball, so you're a pretty busy guy. What goes on when you're not in a sport, or do you even have any time to do anything else? Um, I think there's like two weeks before between each sport when I'm not doing anything, and usually I'm doing something in there. So there's not really time for much break in the summer. It's basketball, golf, baseball. It's pretty busy. 
Jackson, thanks a lot. You ready to play KMA? Yeah, be prepared to beat me. Deeper. 